Don't be startled. I got a new set. Everything's fine here. Move along. Nothing to see. All right, guys. Yes, my new set is done, as you can see behind me here. And this is basically just to help show off the prints that I make. But I'll be making a separate video very shortly, um, kind of showcasing this. So, so that should be up shortly. If it is, I will put a link up in the corner over here. And let's get right into this print. So I haven't done a historical print in a while. And actually, I've only done one before, and that was the well rod. Again, you can check the corner up here to see that video. But history is something that I thoroughly enjoy learning about, and one of my favorite subjects when talking about history is always the ancient Egyptians. I find them extremely interesting, so I knew that I had to make something related to that, and I landed on the Ankh. Now, as you can see, the model is pretty simple. It's a pretty basic shape with some hieroglyphs carved into it. So how I achieved this was I was using Fusion 360, and I brought a reference image of this Ankh into the program, and then just basically started tracing. And there's a lot of little things to trace here, so it actually did take me about two hours to complete this, um, but there was nothing really intensive about it. I was mostly just going around lines. Now, some of these um, hieroglyphs weren't very detailed in the image, or they were a little blurry, um, and some of them had decayed over time. But I did have to take some artistic license with some of these hieroglyphs, but um, most of them are pretty accurate, and I think it's the overall feel that I'm really going for here. I don't need it to be super accurate. Plus, I doubt I'll have anyone coming through that can actually read these, so I think I'm in the clear. And then I wanted to talk a little bit about what, what my wife did to paint this, because she actually did a couple of really unique things that I hadn't seen her do before. So first of all, um, she sanded it. As you can see, the sides here are actually very smooth. And um, then she primed it and painted it gold. Seems pretty simple, right? But then she actually did um, a wash technique to get in these cracks right here. And that's basically just taking really watered down paint, painting it on here, and then dabbing off the paint on the surface surface with like a paper towel or something. So all you're left with is the paint in the cracks. But the part that I thought was really cool is we actually didn't have any gold acrylic paint on hand when she did this. So she took some copper and apparently when you mix copper with green, you get gold. Who knew? So I thought that was very cool and I think this came out great. I think this would look really good next to a couple other Egyptian things. If you like this type of thing, let me know down in the comments because I'm definitely up for making more. And there's some really cool ancient Egyptian things that I think I could make. So if you wanted to download and print one of these for yourself, check the description below. I have links to all the files down there. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed my new set. And then if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button. And I will leave you with next week's preview. See you next time, guys.